The Galaxy Note line has proven itself to be one of the flagship money makers for Samsung. So obviously they're gonna come out with the Galaxy Note 6 this year. There's been some rumors about what's coming out, you know, but it's just rumors at this point. So I wanna take this opportunity to make a fun little video and just tell you all the specs, all the features that I want the Galaxy Note 6 to have that would make this thing a killer next gen level stepping device. So first of all, no questions asked, this device better be IP68 certified. We have the Galaxy S7 and the Galaxy S7 Edge both having this IP68 certification. Now this certification means you can dunk the phone in water 30 minutes at about three feet. So that's awesome. It's really gonna prevent a lot of just common mistakes. I really wouldn't recommend, you know, going out, pushing the limits of the device, but for, you know, preventing mistakes, you know, dropping it in the toilet, dropping it in the bathtub, you know, using it in the shower, there you go. And it's gonna just prevent a lot of mishaps and unnecessary repairs. So the Galaxy Note 6 is of course rumored to have USB Type-C, why? Well, every other flagship that's come out this year has it. The HTC 10, the LG G5, etc. stuff like that. That's just where the future is going. I mean, even, heck, the, the new Apple MacBooks have them as well. I'm just thinking, and this is just out loud, that everyone that pre-ordered the Galaxy S7 got a free Gear VR, and that was a lot of people, like a lot. People that never even heard of VR probably have it in their hands now, which is great. It's like basically a marketing tool for Samsung. People thought they were getting a free Gear VR, but now they're being forced into this new world, which will be great. So now that Samsung has cleared out all their inventory for the Gear VR, they can certainly focus on USB Type-C because that means they can develop a new Gear VR. And this new Gear VR has opportunity to have better features, work better, better graphics, everything like that. And that kind of goes hand in hand with my next feature, which is 4K. Now the Galaxy Note 6, I would honestly be surprised if it had 4K. I just don't think it's time yet. We all you know, know the, Sona, Sona? the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium had it, but it's kind of like hit or miss on when it, the feature was actually used. If the Galaxy Note 6 had a 4K display, but the 4K was only used when you are viewing media or doing Gear VR, like have a 4K screen and then split it for both eyes, that would be great. Because what that would do, that would reduce the screen door effect, which is a complaint a lot of people have. And if you don't know what that is, the screen door effect is basically where you're looking through the Gear VR and the resolution isn't quite high enough so you're seeing all the little pixels. So it's almost like you're peeping through a screen door or something like that. So now with this potential for a new Gear VR, which is gonna happen, like Samsung isn't just gonna do one Gear VR and call it a day. They're gonna make this next Gear VR with USB Type-C, potential to have better graphics, better quality, throw in the 4K and they have themselves a winner and now that everyone is addicted to VR through this promo, the free Gear VR, they could charge $100, $200 for this thing. And I guarantee you a lot of people would buy it or throw in some type of incentive like $100 off, have them pay $100, and Samsung will still be making bank. They know what they're doing. They've thought long term on this for sure. And a feature that I don't really care about, but obviously it's going to come, I think Samsung is going to have more RAM in the Galaxy uh, Note 6. A lot of phones nowadays, four gigs is the norm, but now's their chance to push it. Six gigs, eight gigs, let's see what happens. And more RAM, let's also go the other way, more storage. If they make the Galaxy Note 6 have 256 gigabytes of storage as an option, that'd be freaking amazing. But actually, at the very minimum, please Samsung, give us removable storage like the Galaxy S7. Allow us to remove the SIM card and have the SIM card and the micro SD card slot. Imagine having 256 gigabytes of onboard storage and then being able to put in a 200 gigabyte SD card. Like that is flipping crazy. Okay, this next thing I've been requesting year after year after year after year. I even saw myself posted on Facebook in 2012 but I wish the Galaxy Note 6 would have better speakers. Come on, like, learn from the Nexus 6, learn from the Nexus 6P, learn from the HTC One M8 
M9, do front facing speakers, make them amazing. Now is your time to shine, do it. And another feature, of course, the camera. If the camera is as good as the Galaxy S7, I will be sold. The Galaxy S7 camera is amazing. Maybe they can make some like software tweaks at this point, kind of like going from the S6 to the Note 5. It was the same camera module, but they improved the quality in the software, the optimization, stuff like that. Now, if they could also do a bonus and pull an HTC 10 and do the front facing camera to have optical image stabilization, so when you're filming or doing low light shots, it would be better. That would also be a super big plus. And last but not least, of course, this has to be a given. New Galaxy Note 6, they gotta come out with some killer S Pen features. Nothing gimmicky, something actually useful. Like just for example, the great feature of the Galaxy Note 5, you could take a note on the screen when it was off, which was honestly not gimmicky to me at all. Really great. And also another given, they better design the S Pen well. No more of that S Pen gate crap. Unless they did it on purpose, you know, you never know. And that's it guys. If you enjoyed these types of like just rumor speculation videos, nothing too official, nothing too formal, nothing too fancy, just give me a big thumbs up. That way I do know to do more of these videos in the future. If you didn't like the video, give it a dislike. Let me know what you didn't like about it. That sure helps me as well. And if you wanted to see more videos just like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is somewhere around here. If you're craving some more tech videos, I'll put a few over here. I'll put links in the description below. I'll put a few cards up here. Have at it. I got all kinds of videos on my channel so I can occupy you all day. And that's it guys. I'm done. Mic drop. I think I just spilled soda all over the carpet. Mm. You, mm, better use that YouTube money to freaking hire Stanley Steamers. Hashtag not sponsored.